Hi everyone, this is my first question of the week video explanation. And to get these questions of the week, you can go to my website, www.profroofs.com. And when you get there, you can sign up for a newsletter to get weekly emails and updates on programs and apps. And to get to the question, you can just click on the weekly question. And you can see I have the archives for all other questions before. So I'm going to go back to January's question of the week and we'll do the first one for that week. Once you get to the page, the newest question you will find is at the top, but I'm going to do the first question for this week, and that was from January 3rd to January 9th, and that is this question here. Okay, so I copied the question over here, and we're gonna be talking about osmosis. And we have three conditions. We have over here beaker A, beaker B, beaker C, and inside each one of them you see a red blood cell, in the first one, the red blood cell is normal. In the second one, it's enlarged. And then in the third one in C, it has gotten smaller. So in the question, we're asking what will happen to the RBC if it's placed in a hypotonic solution? There is a shortcut way, but uh, before the shortcut, let me just explain this. If you have a container here and it's filled with water and you have something inside here, for example, a red blood cell, I'll label that the R. BC. You're saying here, or it's asking about the solution. It's not asking about the tonicity of the red blood cell. It's asking about the tonicity or the concentration of the solution. So it's saying that the solution is hypotonic. So we have two opposites, right? We have hypo and we have hyper. Which one of these means more? Hyper. Hyper means more. Think of somebody who's hyperactive. They got a lot of energy. Hypo, that means less. So we're talking about the solution. So the solution outside the cell. So that's here. So there's going to be less solutes compared to what's inside the red blood cell. So I'm just going to pick another color here. So we're saying hypo. So let's put like, you know, one, two, maybe three. But inside it's going to be hyper. There's going to be so many more solutes inside here. I'm just drawing a bunch of lines that just illustrate there's a lot more solutes. So what's going to happen? Which way is the water going to go? Is it going to go into the cell or out of the cell? Well, water flows to where there is a higher solute concentration. So it's going to flow into it, causing the cell to do what? Causing the cell to swell up. So hyper means it's going to cause this cell to shrink. In the case of a red blood cell, we call that crenation, so it would crenate. So if we look at B, B is the hypotonic one, and C is the hyper, and if nothing happens, what do we call that? We call that isotonic, meaning the concentrations are equal inside the red blood cell as to outside in the solution surrounding it. So if we look at our answer choices, we can cross out anything that says nothing or anything to do with shrinking. So we know it's either B or C, but let's go with B here. Because the solute concentration inside the cell is greater. Let's see, is the solute concentration inside greater? Well, the water is going to the greater region, so yes, it is greater. So it would be that. The other one says the solute concentration inside the cell is less than the surrounding. No. That is what would happen for the cell to shrink, as in C, a hypertonic solution. So one way to think about this is think about like if you eat french fries, french fries are really what? They're really salty. And after you eat something really salty, what do you want to do? You want to drink water. So wherever there's more solute, more salt, the water is going to head towards it. So again, clarify what the question is saying. We're talking about the solution. The solution's hypotonic, so the solution is going to have fewer solutes. That means inside there's more, and water is going to head to wherever there's more solutes. What's a shortcut way of remember this? I don't know if you've seen this before, but if you write this, hypotonic. That way you know anything in a hypotonic, that cell will swell up. I hope you enjoyed this video explanation, and if you want there are more, all you got to do is just click and then cast your vote. You can also see the results by clicking view results under each question, seeing how everybody else voted. If you go to the website, you can click on the registration link, create an account, even use social media.
you can go up to discussion forums and you will find here discussion forums where you can get study help, talk about medical school, nursing school, and other topics. Share this with friends and even come here to create your own study groups. And I'll do my best to answer your question in under 24 hours. Take care.